So I've noticed this a lot in the media and so many other things. T- constantly talking about sexualization of children and all this stuff. And the LGBT and all this and this and this. I think the real problem we get here is because I do see some people that aren't a part of the LGBT and people who are a part of the LGBT talking about sexuality and going incredibly in depth where they shouldn't have to. And I think their main issue is simplicity is best. And I wanted to talk about this. And I feel like nobody is going to listen, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you want to teach people about sexuality and stuff, it needs to be simple for children. Teenagers need to know about sexuality and stuff in more detail. That's why so many people I see talking about, you know, the LGBT and and sexuality and drag queens and all this stuff. And, you know, talking to kids about this, this and this. Like some of this stuff is fine. And then some of the the stuff gets incredibly adult. And we're not talking about adult where I can tell you, oh, a kid saw this thing and it is like, oh, I, I said it, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It just made people just kind of go ew. You were kind of like, oh, I don't like that. But it wasn't like I. Uh, it wasn't like I don't like that in a bad way. It was like, oh, they just know this now. This is more of they're going to in depth. Sex, sex, and children do not mix because I, I want to bring up the Boondocks and South Park. These are two shows that use children as their face of saying their a uh, political message or statement. South Park is from a right wing statement. But also trying to say, yes, this shit is stupid. We agree with people on the left on this one. Because sometimes people on the right do stupid shit. Same thing with Aaron Magruder saying, sometimes people on the left do stupid shit. They're, they're parallels. But one isn't trying to be edgy. The other one is trying to talk about how the black community as a whole, specifically more than the white community. Yes, it does talk about the white community, but it specifically talks about the black community and how all of the media and everything affects the black community a lot more with gangsters and all that and the thugs and hip hop. So when I talk about stuff like sex, sexualization stuff, uh, children shouldn't be interacting with it because it just outright becomes silly. And it's not in an interesting way where I can say, oh, this was fine. No, I'm saying when children are involved with things that they can't fully grasp, like politics and stuff, it comes off as silly. Where if this was a teenager, this would be fine because teenagers are experimenting. They're growing up. They're seeing what they love and what they don't love about the things they do and like and everything in the world. Where children are just like, oh, I know what that is. And it's like... Like, where do you, why do you think so many people make that complaint? You know, I wanted to be a Power Ranger and all this stuff. No, children do not know what's best. And I know this is going to get a lot of people mad because I do see a lot of people bring this up. Some, and I, I'm, I'm going to have to say this, some people are trans, but a lot of them aren't. And I think this needs to be addressed. That not every person in the world needs to know about sexuality and understand things until at least hitting, you know, we're not at a point where they can understand things because I'll see people, you know, bringing up five-year-olds and all this stuff. And I'm just like, no, I feel like if you want to understand sexual, if you want to even explain it to a child in a way where they can understand it without going in depth, just say people love differently. You might have two mommies. You have might you might have two daddies. You might have one mommy and one daddy. You might have uh fucking, you might, it's, that's it. People love differently. People love differently. People look differently. And people who love differently also date people who look differently, too. Some people don't love differently. They date people who look differently. And I feel like that's such a fucking simple statement that it basically embodies my entire theatrical way of looking at this as fucking say something simple that gets the message across where children don't have to think too hard. Because children shouldn't be thinking too much. And that's not me saying children need to be dumb little dum-dums. I'm saying children need to understand something in a very simple way. This is simple. That's all. Thank you, Chibis.